Okay, let's continue data quality check. Let's continue data visualizations. And let's see Asian R, multipath, and elevation plot together. Okay, in this plot, there are three panels top panels, middle panels, and bottom panels. Let's begin from bottom panels. Again, the horizontal axis represents the observation time from zero hours to 24 hours. And this bottom panel shows elevation angle uh, versus observation time. So the elevation angle begins from zero degree, begins from horizon, then mm, it reaches up to 90 degree, which is a zenith. So uh, all satellite is shown in this uh, plot. So satellite rises, it gains the elevation angle, then it reaches to a uh, 90 degree elevation angle for that particular GNSS station and then it uh, goes downwards to horizon and then it disappears. Uh, same story for all other satellites. So not all satellites are uh, reaches up to Zenith. Uh, for example, for these satellites. Okay, these satellites appears, it doesn't reach to Zenith, it just reach uh, below a 30 degree elevation angle and it uh, goes downwards to horizon again and disappears. Mm. Okay. Mm. And in the middle plot, uh, okay, the horizontal axis is again observation time and the vertical axis represent the multipath effect translated into a meter unit. So here is the zero meter axis and we uh, when the multipath effect is positive, so this is upward. When the multipath effect is a negative, this is downward. So, uh, mm, okay, this is the multipath uh, effect plot. And this top plot is, okay, this plot shows the signal to noise ratio in a decibel horse. The lowest is HNR is 10 and the max HNR is, okay, 45. Signal to, uh, we prefer higher signal to noise ratio and we don't prefer lower signal to noise ratio. And again, we can choose various options. So uh, there is a different, uh, okay, there is different multipath effect for a different frequency. Uh, okay, uh, we choose L1 frequency. And since all satellites are shown here, I will choose only one satellite and, and see the, Elevation angle, multipath, and HNR. Okay, let's do G04. Okay, then the G04 satellites mm, appear after five hours. Mm, okay, it appears in uh, mm, 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 low elevations. Then it gains, it gains its elevation, which is to ninety degree. Then it Mm, the elevation angle keeps decreasing, it uh, goes to horizon and it disappears. Uh, it disappears and okay. And let's, let me zoom out this multipath uh, effect. And we can see or compare the correlation between multipath effect and elevation angles. So in this multipath effect, there is a larger fluctuation at the beginning, then a smaller 
fluctuation at the mid and again a larger fluctuation at the end. So at the beginning, the satellite is at low elevation angle. So low elevation angle corresponds to the higher multipath effect. And when the satellite is uh, around 90 degree elevation angle, multipath effect is lower compared to before and after. And again, at the time of, uh, at the time when satellite goes downwards to horizon, that means a low, a low elevation angle, low elevation angle corresponds to the higher multipath effect. So uh, these two plots, comparison of these two plots shows that mm, 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 uh, higher elevation angle by results a uh, lower multipath, lower elevation angle results higher multipath because the signals coming from low elevation satellites has higher chances of uh, higher chances of striking at buildings, trees, or ground surface, and then reach to a GNSS river. But when the satellite is at higher elevation angle, then there is a very low chance, and the signals, direct signals from satellites, directly received by a receiver. So are resulting the lower multipath. Again, let's let's try to analyze the SNR plot. So at the beginning, there is low SNR value, and the SNR value keeps uh, keeps increasing. Mm, and again, after some time, the SNR value goes down. So this is similar to the elevation angles. Lower elevation angles corresponding to a lower signal-to-noise ratio. Higher elevation angle uh, means a higher signal-to-noise ratio. And again, a lower elevation angle means uh, lower HNR value. Uh, we want more signal, less noise, that means higher SNR ratios. So we, we it would be uh, it would be what? Uh, so we prefer data which has higher SNR ratios. We prefer data which has a uh, lower multipath effect. We prefer data when the satellite is at higher elevation angles. So this is how we this is how we check the quality of uh, data we collected. Uh, 